85% of the success that you're gonna find in a role is gonna come from your soft skills versus only 15% coming from hard skills. That's what Harvard University found in a recent study. And let's take a moment to break that down and really get clear on what does this mean and how can we stand out and highlight these soft skills. Okay, so what are hard skills? Hard skills are typically those skills that you've learned on the job or perhaps through some training or education. Whereas the soft skills are how we act, how we interact with others and elements of our personality. So it really does take a blend of those hard skills and soft skills to stand out and be effective in the role. But noting that 85% of our success is gonna come from those soft skills, let's think about what are some examples that we've seen from our employer partners that have made tech sales individuals most successful. One of those is curiosity. Sales is always adapting and so is our client. So we need to be curious in order to ask good questions and connect well with clients or prospects. What's another example of a soft skill? Resilience. Resilience is really important in sales, noting that we're gonna get a lot of no's, so we've gotta be able to pick up and move forward in spite of some rejection. Another important element of soft skills is collaboration. In a sales role, you'll be working with a team and other departments to be able to satisfy customer needs and move along or advance your product or service. So collaboration is another important soft skill. Now you might be thinking, Matt, how do I showcase these soft skills if they're so important? And this is where it can get a little bit tricky because soft skills are typically harder to assess on a resume or in an interview and also harder to quantify. So when it comes to showcasing our soft skills, when we're in an interview situation, be sure to use the STAR method. What does that do? It really highlights the result, the impact, and quantifying the outcome and benefit based on using the soft skill that you're demonstrating in that example. On a resume, let's make sure that those soft skills aren't just listed as skills, but some examples of how those skills have created a tangible or quantifiable impact in the role. So where do these soft skills come from? Well, they're developed every single day and employers always remind us that hard skills can be taught. Soft skills are really the deep parts of your personality that are going to connect those hard skills and allow you to connect with other people that you're working with. So whether you've been in competitive sports, retail, hospitality, you've been on the front line working with people developing those soft skills and these are the individuals that we see really get ahead in tech sales. So if you've got some of these skills or you're looking for how to further develop these skills, Look at Pallet Skills Sales Camp as an example of a way that you can demonstrate those skills, work on those core skills, and present those skills to employers. Hard skills, soft skills, boy, there's nothing soft about soft skills. That's what's gonna make us successful.